Hi everyone, it's Thursday and we're still out here at Red Rock Canyon as we're going to be, as we are all week, uh, except tomorrow. Well, actually even tomorrow, but tomorrow, don't miss tomorrow's show. It's our 4th of July special where we're going to celebrate our country together and God's hand upon it, including seen from here in Red Rock Canyon, Nevada, by the way west of Las Vegas up in the mountains. So the other thing that we have been doing is studying from Rick Warren's devotional called Open Doors. And if you have enjoyed this and would like a copy of your own, just go to pastors.com, which is actually a ministry of Saddleback Church. So even when you buy the book, it helps our ministry. But saddle, uh, pastors.com, that's a great way. Or when you come back to uh, church, when we start getting together again, it'll be available there. Today I'm looking at February 9th devotion, and uh, these are Rick Warren's words to us. So in a way you're hearing from me, but also from Pastor Rick. He comes from Galatians chapter 6 at verse 4. Let everyone be sure that he is doing his very best, for then he will have the personal satisfaction of work well done and won't need to compare himself with someone else. And that last phrase is really what Pastor Rick centers on, captures, you know, stays on, because it's so important that we don't compare ourselves with someone else. God just wants us to be us and do our best in whatever ministries and whatever things he gives us. Here's what Rick says is his kind of his talk about this verse. It's impossible to be happy and envious at the same time. In fact, one way to experience true satisfaction in your life is by learning how to eliminate envy. Acknowledging your struggle with envy can be painful, but it's the first step toward a change of values and a more mature spiritual life. Envy compares what you don't have with someone who has it. It could be a job, a car, a house, kids, a spouse, even your lawn. Well, not in, not in Laguna Woods, huh? But uh, just not to envy. Okay, but anytime you choose envy, you lose because you miss out on the satisfaction that God has planned for you. Do you want a more satisfying life then? Well, be assured it doesn't come from comparison. Instead, it comes by becoming the person God made you to be. Don't pursue what others have, for comparison will always leave you feeling empty and frustrated. No. God has a plan for your life, custom tailored just for you. Do your best work and you will find your satisfaction in him, in him. Comparing yourself to others will quickly become a thing of the past. Good, good words, Pastor Rick. I, of course, I always appreciate what, what he has to say. But in this one, it's, it's certainly true that we gain nothing because if we're comparing and we have more or we're better at it or anything like on the positive side, then it kind of leads to pride, doesn't it? And God doesn't want that either. And if they have more or better or whatever, then it's what this says, envy. And that's not good either. So let's do what that verse says. Let me review it for you. Let everyone, well, that is us, everyone, be sure that he's doing his very best. It's really interesting. I know that when we, were, we used to be meeting and before we got new chairs there in Clubhouse 5, one of my favorite ministries that so many of you were doing was what we called the cushion ministry. Remember that? We had to put cushions out on those chairs. I loved 
the dedication that so many of you showed to that ministry. You get there early, spread out those cushions. Some of you were on the detail where at the end of the day, we would gather them up and put them in the bags. Boy, that, that was a lot of work, really was. But I, went, but I so appreciated it. <clears throat> there is no ministry too small in God's eyes. In fact, your ministry now, now that we're not meeting, it might be just to take some fruit to your neighbor and, and just bless them. I, I don't know what it would be. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's a, an email to someone you haven't talked to in quite a while. I know they would love to hear from you. But whatever it is, it's doing your best for the Lord. And, and so it says, let everyone be sure that he is doing his very best. For then he will have the personal satisfaction of work well done. That is a great satisfaction, isn't it? And of course, <clears throat> all that we do, we do to, so that in the end, and when we get to heaven, Jesus will say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's, that's the biggest reward of all, isn't it? Paul finishes his verse, but we get satisfaction of work well done and won't need to compare himself to someone else. What a great challenging verse that is. To know and to be challenged to not compare to others. And that's in, in every area of life. And you think, why wasn't I made like that? Or why can't I do this or that? You know why? I actually have the answer to this. I don't often have those answers. But I have the answer because it's not how God made you. You are unique. There is no other you. And that's exactly what God wants. That's why he made you. He, got, he, he doesn't make mistakes. So it's not a mistake the way you are. And you are you. I, I personally, I can say I appreciate you so much also that that's exactly the person that I want to see again soon. And uh, I love the Lord for it. Well, I hope you've been, been enjoying these, this outdoor scenery. Uh, I, I, we've had a lot of uh, noise on the outside of people enjoying it. I, I don't think that came through to you, but if it did, then just know that that was people having fun and enjoying God's creation out here. Uh, and I love it too. This is just one fine mountain that you see. And uh, I appreciate it. I wish I could. Do any of you rock climb? I, I've never. Actually, we used to live in Colorado. And we, there was a lot of rock climbing around at that point in time. But I, it's something I've never done or even tried. And uh, I don't know about you. But I would enjoy trying it that if I was with someone who knew what they were doing. So... <laughs> okay. Well, friends, this has been fun. I've enjoyed this week, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow's show more than any other day this week because honestly, in this day in this time in which we live, I want to celebrate this country's birthday. Will you join with me in doing that tomorrow? Thank you. God bless. Have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.